In today's lesson video, we are going to take a closer look at your settings within your Google Classroom. I am in my example Google Classroom that I have created titled English One. On the very first page, your stream page. This again is the page that lists out your class code, your meeting link for Google's Meets and announcements for your students. You will also see that to the upper right corner, you have your settings wheel. This is where your settings are located that you are able to adjust accordingly for your Google Classroom. So some of the things that I see here, first off, you have your class details. Here is where you as the teacher and administration of this Google Classroom, you are able to change the class name. This is the only thing that is required under your class details. However, you are able to add other things as well, like a description. Maybe you have different sections. Perhaps you're doing a Google Classroom for different periods or classes throughout your day, room numbers and subject. Under your next category in your settings, which is, which is your general category, you have things like your ways to invite students to your classroom. So here, you are manage your invite codes. This is where you are, you are able to either turn on or turn off students being able to access. So for example, currently I have mine on where there is a class code that can be issued to new students to enroll into my course. But what if perhaps I wanted to no longer allow students to enroll into this course? I can simply turn this feature off and then there is no code that allows anyone to be able to enroll in this course who is not currently in this course. When I do have that option on, I have a invite link that I can copy and email to students. I also have that class code and I can display that class code here as well. Next, on your stream, remember stream is that first page students are brought to where it does show them their to-do list of upcoming things and also announcements. You are able to control what the students are able to do, if anything, on that stream's announcement page. You are able to set this to where you are only, as a teacher, able to post and comment on any announcements on that page, not students. You can choose to allow students to comment, or you can allow students to actually be able to post as well. So it's strictly up to you as the admin of what you would allow your students to do on that streams announcements page. Also, you can choose here if you would like within your announcements list on that stream page, if you would also want to include any classwork that is due here, you can choose to hide that where it is not seen. You can choose to condense it where they don't show all of the details, attachments, maybe it's just a quick summary of that lesson or activity that is due. Or you can choose to have full details, attachments, and everything associated with that activity to be listed there on that stream announcements page. You can also choose to show deleted items that maybe you have deleted. This is just for you, the teacher view, not the students. And also here, your guardian summaries. This is when you are allowed to invite parents to take access into the student's Google Classroom. Very limited. They are only able to just get a quick summary once a week of the student's activities. And here you are able to conduct and collect summaries based on which guardians are accessing and receiving those summaries each week. Here you are able to create your Google Meets link where you can create that virtual setting to meet with your students and you are able to create more than one at a time. And your last section on your settings is your grading. When you use this option to grade, you will have your grade calculations, your activities, your assignments all listed here with all students and their grades as well.